Good morning, folks. Hope you caught last night's video. It was a good one on the sun changing in the solar system shift. If not, click our channel name to go to our homepage and you'll find it. Today we're going to run down a bit of space weather, say goodbye to that comet on Soho, peek in on the global climate of 2022, and a magnetar. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find it was relatively calm on the Earth-facing side. CMEs continued on the far side, including a titanic one aimed at the comet itself but nothing aimed our way. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are not too out of the ordinary and the solar flaring remains low. The main thing to point out on the sun actually came off the far side and we can barely catch it there over the northern polar crown. Massive eruption was fired at the comet as it passed overhead. Look at that. And look at this. This is Comet Macholes, by the way. As we said yesterday, tracking up and away after its close pass. At the end here, you can actually see the massive far side eruption beginning to leave the sun as well. Folks, it's time for this again. The climate map of 2022, they show everyone. Only La Nina Central Pacific is in the blue and everywhere else is warm. But here's the map that compares actual temperature variations over the globe compared to the last 30 years. A vastly more important measure for modern climate change. And this is one of the ways they sell their climate story because one map tells one thing and the 30 year comparison tells another. We can also look at this for the United States and it's the same thing. Just well done, climate elites. Last but not least, we know about how the magnetar surface gets cracked, how this type of star actually electromagnetically blasts its own surface. But sometimes that's not what happens. Sometimes the blast goes right up and out open field lines instead of the closed arching L shells. It's much more like a volcanic eruption on a star than anything else. And here they found one that actually changed the rotation speed of the magnetar. Now that's some cool physics. A mega blast actually slows down the star itself. If you could have been there to see it, probably would have looked something like this. Link to our Blitz Tour events is below. Grab your tickets or peruse our other resources linked down there. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.